Nico Bonatus. I'm a managing director at General Catalyst. Our mission is to invest in positive and powerful change that endures. GC is a multi-stage venture capital firm. We're in the business of partnering with ridiculously ambitious founders who hopefully over time build the category defining company of their space. We can write checks that range from 250K all the way to $200 million in a single check. We are able to invest in the best founders and most ambitious ideas globally. And we can stay as investors for the entire life cycle of a company. I'm very passionate about all things consumer media. The founders who are getting started today, who are in their late teens, early 20s, mid 20s, can get networked through us to the OGs, individuals who started uh, companies like Discord, Snap, Tinder, uh, and many more. We're agents of change, we're catalysts, because we're providing an unfair advantage to the founders and the startups that we have the privilege to work with. So that's what it means to me. Partners at our firm who are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, operators at some of the most notable tech companies over the last few decades, or few others who've been career-long investors. The collective um, wisdom of the group and the collective network of our partners can provide that unfair advantage. So that's going to be a hard work conversation, talking about um, degrees. I'm Quentin Clark. I am a managing director at General Catalyst. I focus mostly on enterprise investing. For most enterprise work, we try to be very thematic. And sometimes you get into it and you realize, OK, Inside this problem space, whether it's data or infrastructure or the workforce transformation work or you know, B2B SaaS and the role that machine learning plays, um, these are things that matter. We may have to pick up something that's later stage. And so most of my work is earlier stage. Most of my work is with seed companies, Series A, you know, and early stage companies. I always think of the agents of change as being about two different sides of that. One is to use the word catalyze, right? But to catalyze change in the first place that creative work and having the intimacy with our founders to have very open, free-ranging conversations to get that creative thinking going around where else could this business go and, and opening up some of those doors. And this is where as an ex-operator, you know, this is one of the things I can be really helpful for because it's like, no, 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 that's like, that's a waste of time. Don't, don't spend time with that. Shortcut to this. Here's the two people you need to really talk through. Get them on board. Then this will happen. You know, kind of how do you give them the ability to create momentum? as they start to build change within their own businesses. We love it when they are, you know, first principle thinkers, curious, they have the grit, the will to work through things. If we can just help them with ways of thinking through things, they get to answers much faster. And every time I see that, that makes me happy, right? So it is, it is all comes back down to how do we empower these companies and these founders to, to do, you know, what their life is calling them to do.